And we're back. <laughs> How did you like that one? It's pretty good. Yeah. I do like that. Just, I'll just do a different intro hand <laughs> gesture every time. Leave your comments to let us know which mic hand gesture is the best. Um... I'm going to get voted off the show. And then you're going to have to do this again. Every long. single comment yeah. is like, actually, we'd prefer it Boo. if you just... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could just talk to an empty chair yeah. instead of Mike. Yeah. No. People Did, love you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we, we never asked, like, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We, we never asked how their day is going. I'm not sure. Collectively, the internet's day. Yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> let us know in the comments. <laughs> it's like we can't see your responses yeah. right now, no, unfortunately. Maybe, right. maybe at some point we'll... Consider a, a live stream of sorts oh, or something. I think that would be awesome. super fun to join with everybody. And kind I of, would love that. Yeah, that would be a super, super good time. Yeah. Um, we had an idea, something a little different this episode. Uh, we are going to do a giveaway, a special giveaway. Everybody likes free stuff. Um, so uh, I have a code for a free copy of the game. I know a lot of people probably already have played it or own it. Um, but it's awesome. I mean, on Steam, you can gift it to a friend oh, yeah. who might oh, yeah. have it on their wish list. You can, um, yeah, just share it with anybody who, who might be interested. Or if you need another copy or... or um, like winning things? Like winning things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what you need to do is leave a comment on this very YouTube video. This one. Down, down below. Down below. Down, yep, down, down below. I don't know why I was confused about that. <laughs> Tell us who your favorite character is. Uh, so I revealed mine. I believe Mike has kind of shared his with Annabelle and, mm -hmm. and Hunter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so maybe double check your village primer, maybe kind of browse the wiki a little bit mm -hmm. and make your final decision on who your very favorite Sugar Blossom villager is. Leave that in the comments uh, and we will randomly pick one of those as the winner of this week's, this week, this, this episode's this episode. <laughs> giveaway. Um, and get in touch with you with a free code for World's Dawn. Yeah. So. We're super interested. Yeah, so. I, I want to know. <laughs> who, who do you guys uh, resonate with? And who, who were your best friends when you played through mm -hmm, the game? Mm -hmm. Who did you romance? Any of that. Uh, I would love to hear. So, yeah. Man, I love giveaways. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> it's something I kind of, an idea I had like a while ago. And we're, yeah. I think it's about time we yeah. implemented something like that. Yeah. So. I'm gonna play some lock. Ball. Yeah, I was gonna we say, well, what, what do you got on the, the docket day? today? Well, oh, Bryn. and, and Bryn's right there watching again. And that's your chance to show off a little bit. I think we missed her Stud. yesterday. Ooh, I don't know if I. Oh, yep, we did. You got some Take a few more strawberries yeah. today. Good. Okay. Seems to like strawberries a lot. She does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait, we, we, we already talked about the loving strawberries <laughs> part. <laughs> Let's play some lock ball. Perhaps by the end of this playthrough, like we're in the last day of winter and we're just telling the same same stories over and over again. <laughs> like, so strawberries and who's our favorite character? You need like a little strawberry counter in a lifetime. <laughs> how many times that that's uh, been? Do you guys brought. know how good Zelda Breath of the Wild is? <laughs> I don't think we've mentioned that on this show yet. Oh man, and I forgot you're the lockball master. Yeah, pretty great at lockball. Whoa. It's it's fun each each character I mean they're it's they're all very similar like they're pretty rudimentary AI but um, each opponent does have like slightly different tactics um, Logan hits you like when he tackles you you like go back a little bit mm -hmm, farther mm -hmm. which obviously he's a little more you know bulky and, a and strong dude. yeah he's a huskier <laughs> dude than, than some of the other players um, I think Haley is is one of the quickest. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a fun little detail yeah. that you might might not notice playing if you don't play too much lockball. He scores! <laughs> Switch. He tried. He oh. tried to tackle me. Logan's getting tired now. Yep. Sorry, Great buddy. match! <laughs> Truly tough opponent. Congrats on beating I, me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so humble. So humble. <laughs> that the bird flies away when you go inspect the bird bath. Fun little detail. Yeah, I like that a lot. <clears throat> Just gonna pop in, yes. say hi to my friends Alexander and Manu. What are you up to today? Perhaps. You know? What are you up to today, you know? You're just gonna wander a bit, you know? Hey. Got a but, pocket full of cash. <laughs> yeah, we already saw Bryn. I was, I was thinking maybe dropping by, if we can make it out to the ranch 
before yeah. they close. Yeah. Um, seeing what it might cost us to purchase our first cow. Because, mm. uh, yeah, I think that's probably a good a uh, good goal for us. Yeah, yeah. First bit so. of livestock. Oh, oh good. okay. Wow, we were uh, uh, we're just uh, playing rock ball, but... <laughs> Day to you, Logan. Doesn't look like I have anything for you at the moment. Are you expecting a package? Nope. I just thought I'd stop by for a minute to say hello. It's been a few days since our routes have crossed. I noticed that as well. I thought you must be sitting somewhere with a good book slacking off on your duties. I should be offended by that. You know better than anyone how important it is to deliver every shipment on time. But I guess getting wrapped up in a book does sound a bit like me. Well, the folks of Sugar Blossom appreciate you staying out of those fantasy worlds a few hours every day to make your rounds. Thanks for saying so. It sure makes it easier seeing your smiling face along the way. Let's hope these last few days were just a fluke. I do hope so. Take care, Logan. A friendly little encounter between two of the wandering villagers. Mm -hmm. There was... I've, I've seen talk on forums of, like... Hints of romance there, you know, maybe people thought Senna and yeah. Logan might oh, end yeah. up together. Yeah, you know, especially, especially it, before she became a romance option on her own. Yeah. Like, <laughs> kind of wanted to. Shipping culture, you know, it's like. You Literally can see shipping. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it was meant to be. The two shippers. Ship the shippers. Ship the shippers. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, now. I'm, sad that that's not canon. I'm sad that you can <laughs> romance Senna. She belongs with Logan, so clearly. Oh, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Ah, at the pasture. Great pasture. Sheepdog, say hello. Yeah, I think <laughs> wait, we have, have at have this you point. Met, yeah, talked to Zachary a number of times. Yeah. Wait, who? Oh, oh, I had a feeling they might be closed Fridays. I thought it was either Fridays or Mondays. Oh, man. Well, so much Whoops. for... Uh, <laughs> so much for getting that cow. But yeah. I can wait a day. Or I don't think we could yeah, quite afford it today. Knows, I was just yeah. kind of checking the price. The price. The prices, yeah. Price check on cow? <laughs> You'd think we could just ask Marion. Yeah. Was... right there. <laughs> we pop into the gallery here. Say hello. Cole's just mm, working away. Yeah, working, away. working hard. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get some cosmetics sooner. I know, later, I know. I just there's there's something about like me. It's like because I like customizing my space so much. It's hard for me just to accept like the default look. I'm thinking maybe a like rug for our house. Yeah. Carpet because it's just kind of so bare and. Nice area rug. Nice area rug. That might might be our first house purchase. I think that's a good idea. We just missed the the gray thing too. I was gonna wait and maybe see if we could do some part time work at the tavern. Tonight. Yeah, and yeah. The tavern, maybe the clinic. Make a few extra coins. Find some juicy bait. Oh, safe safe clap. <laughs> you should have like a, a a sound bit that plays whenever you unearth the sage. Or the yes, I totally you should. should. Oh, which Ashen Fox? I I actually know this one. The backwoods. Nice. I believe that's true. Yeah. I mean, know. that's that's not a hard question of by any means. If you, but, I mean, if you've been paying attention, if you've, you know, it's it's probably easy to even just miss the backwoods entirely. And oh yeah, yeah. It is kind of out of the way, mm -hmm. you know. But for any would-be explorers, you know, that that's <laughs> definitely like, oh, off the beaten path. Of course, I'm going that direction. <clears throat> Let's see, one thing I haven't really done is check people's houses for... <laughs> oh, there's one! Oh! Eggnog banana must bread. must have been somewhere in the back of my mind. Like, I knew that specific spot. Because <laughs> I walked right up to yeah, that Yeah, I was going to say, like, you, and you were just like, I haven't checked for yeah. this. <laughs> this is <laughs> exactly... <laughs> Oh, man. Head to the tavern. It's I like waiting work. until, I guess maybe I didn't explain that, but I like waiting until after 6 o'clock to head to the tavern because that's when a lot of people show up for their nightly drinks. Busy, a good chance yeah. to get some part-time work. Yeah. 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 Um, although, I believe Orion has to be behind the counter to do some part-time work, mm. so we might not be able to. <laughs> Come on, Orion. Get behind the, get behind <laughs> the counter. Just go stand over there. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> 
Logan. I feel like uh, you've seen you've a lot of Logan today in our day today, Logan. <laughs> I like Logan quite a bit. Yeah, he's he's cool. I yeah. mean, he didn't land on my official top three villagers, but he's he's probably up there. He's probably up there in the top half of them. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's harder to figure out who's on the bottom half. Honestly, yeah, I would feel bad. There, there's no one who you're like, oh, I don't really like this person. Yeah, like it would be hard to. It's like like the know. bottom five is like nearly impossible because like how how do you? Like, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm gonna make you do it right now. Just kidding. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I could. It's like saying to one of your children, like yeah. oh, you are the black sheep of the family. Uh, actually, let me run back in here to a table because got some. Uh, you didn't get your fruit. It's probably no, better no. to wait until you're low on energy because it does restore the energy before it adds the max energy but oh well your energy management is, is pretty I'm decent okay. as is so yeah. you might as well just you know raise a little bit more maximum energy. yeah, so, yeah. Well, plus you're at a table you know <laughs> right you're not always somewhere where you can just pop an eden fruit in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> I, oh yeah maybe uh no, no, i don't I think i think no. madison is the one <laughs> yeah yep so no part-time work for us today. No, we did do some time. lock ball, and I, I guess it's Friday night. I mean, you know, it kind of <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, not much work to be done, I guess. Um. <laughs> hey, you might. Uh... You know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do something really irresponsible. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> now you got my can. attention. I'm just gonna buy this rug right oh, now. Oh yeah! <laughs> the cobalt card was so cool. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he didn't think he would do any business on a Friday <laughs> oh, night either. Oh, yeah. It's like we're always closing. I'm just gonna do it. Do it. Do it. That's a good price for, for, it's good. for such it a is. nice car. It is. And we still have a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to maybe spend a little more time in the See mines. Or... Smile. Like that's worth every yeah. coin, you know, <laughs> seeing that smile. Yeah, he doesn't do it often. There's yeah, there's an example of the dialogue. Based on like yesterday's events, yeah, not yeah, necessarily yeah, today's yeah, events. So great example. <clears throat> this is something we'll have to do at some point. Upgrades. We gotta upgrade our watering Ooh, can too, yeah, but yeah, it's gonna, gonna take a little more mining before we get a chance. You know, and, and that this is a fun example of like mixing in like the mechanics versus like the real world. Like you know, Benjamin's like 163 more rocks, and then then I'll do yeah, the upgrade for you. Yeah. And it's like. You know, wh where do you find that balance between, like, lore correct but also mechanically challenging yeah. stuff like that? Um, there's a certain amount that anyone is willing to accept as, sure. you know, we've talked about a few of the, like, video game niceties. Yep, like, oh yeah. In real life, you probably wouldn't be able to say, like, this is the specific amount of this you need to do before you can level up or mm -hmm, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, numbers are always good. Didn't buy any more seeds. I don't like, think so. Yeah. Can't quite plant more seeds. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, <laughs> it came up as a joke once before already in this episode. But Breath of the Wild. Some of the <laughs> some of the interesting developer interviews were about the um, the art style chosen for that game being slightly cartoony and stylized because it allows you to kind of get away with the less realistic mechanics. Mm, okay, yeah. Um, so I never you know, even thought of it. Like yeah, that. so like when you you know for example when you kill a boar in that game it just like poofs and there's like a little steak, the steak that kind of pops out yeah, yeah or like you chop down a tree and poof there's like a bundle of yeah, firewood the, the, the sticks yeah yeah so um yeah certainly the the balance in um realism uh but realism within the world you've set up so you don't want to break the rules of your own world um you know but it, when that world is is colorful and whimsical like sugar blossom village it's okay to kind of play around and, and just, you know, give the give the player the benefit of the doubt in a lot of cases and just say, like, I don't know, not not be too strict about the realism factor, I guess. You know, and, and it's, it's kind of like it's setting that goalpost. Like, like you know, for example, like the 160 rocks, like, it's far enough out to where it's like, this is a goal. This is something you can work towards and achieve. Yeah. And when you make it that far, you feel the accomplishment. And then you upgrade your tool and, you know, it, and it's better from there. Yeah. You know, if it were too few, it would be, you wouldn't get that sense of accomplishment. And if it was too much, yeah. it would be hard to drive yourself to, it's... like, 10,000 rocks. Okay. No problem. I'll see you in four years for yeah. that, that pickaxe. You know, it's like, so... Uh, 
one of my um, favorite just people in the game, like the general broad game space, is uh, Jane McGonigal, who um, has done a ton of work on um, like game of the idea of gamification, of applying like game mechanics and game design concepts to non-game spaces. Yeah. Um, uh, and and that's kind of what it's all about is presenting these achievable challenges, like because that's when people are at their best is when there is something you know, within their grasp that you're, like, working towards. So it's not this, like, overwhelming challenge that you're never, you know, that you get kind of uh, overwhelmed by mm -hmm. or you, you kind of give up because it's, like, way too pie in the sky. Um, so it's, like, something kind of, like, dangling the carrot right in yeah, front of you and yeah. being in that constant state of, like, grabbing the next thing and constantly, like, moving forward momentum. Um, yeah, she talks a lot about that. Uh, her book is called Reality, or one of her books is called Reality is Broken. Um, which is, yeah, I would highly recommend yeah. that book. Um, just, yeah, basically about how we can apply the mechanics of games to our real world, you know, lives yeah. and, and there, selves. There's been a lot of studies done yeah. on, on its effectiveness, too. <clears throat> yes. So, yeah, yeah I, I certainly have, you know, everything from, like, losing weight and, you know, like, learning how to, like, the Duolingo app or, you know, like, to learn different languages or learning how to cook, like... Make it into a game, like make it into um, a series of achievable challenges. Level yourself up as you continue to accomplish more and more things. And um, yeah, just be kind of in that constant state of like, I guess, leveling up, like yeah. accomplishing more and more. Yeah. Barley. Picked up a nice frying pan too. I did, yeah. yeah, we, yeah we, we got that. I didn't uh, purposely <laughs> set aside some money, so I'm glad we still have that mm -hmm. money. But. Mm. <coughs> Oh, main quest stuff, maybe? There's another mechanic coming into play. Mm -hmm. So no one <laughs> would... <laughs> we go around and collect odd bits and bobs from other townsfolk. Take them around to different villagers and find a home for them. Now we'll call it a second-hand trading game. So this is... Uh, there's some RPGs. There's some Zelda games with oh, this yeah. uh, oh, yeah. trade sequence kind of idea. Um, but I like it because it's another way to get to know your neighbors, get to know the Sugar Blossom villagers, and uh, you get an item and then kind of have to go through and think, like, what do I know about these people? What, who do I know that might be interested in? I think, like, Link's Awakening yes. is probably one of my favorite yes. versions of that sort of trading game. There's so many yeah. crazy, obscure, yeah. like, <laughs> random little items, like, at one point you just have, like, a... I don't know what, like a banana. In that it's like, game, uh, or? yeah, or I think there was like one, like, it's like, oh, you have this honeycomb. It's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> give it to this guy, and then the bees will chase him, and he'll leave an item. It's yes. like, oh, I didn't see that <laughs> happening, but okay, I have another item to trade now. So great, yeah. <laughs> it puts me in mind of, uh, I played um, a little bit of the King's Quest series mm -hmm. as a kid, which, like, they're the most ridiculous <laughs> yeah. series of, of puzzles. Like, yeah, it's like the honeycomb, and then the bear will leave, and you can take the thing, and then you do the, yeah, it's just like, so much. Ooh. I forgot to, to do that last night, but we finally have our very first piece. Of Man, and it just it pops. Yeah. It's it's so nice. I like the blue. You know, a nice accent, bro. A little texture to yeah, it. You know? you know, it's it's got that that feel good. It's like this is my home, especially it's, now. We're we're doing some hard work on yeah. our farm. So coming home and having to put our feet on that hardwood floor mm -hmm. was just yeah. yeah. You, you owe to yourself a little bit of carpet. Ooh. We just heard a little chime there. Mm. What do we do when we hear a little chime? Mm. Perhaps play this little magical instrument. That's probably not it. Use the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Hey! Ooh. Our first charm fairy. Ruby Duchess. So these, um, fun little Easter egg, uh, the names of each of these charm fairies are um, provided by Kickstarter backers at a certain level. Mm -hmm. So we, if we keep playing, might run into the one that you personally named. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I would I would love to see it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, they all have kind of crazy names, and mm -hmm. that's why is, mm -hmm. uh, they were named by some amazing yeah. supporters of, of the game. Um, so we get to pick one villager that oh. will uh, be paid a visit, and their relationship with us will go up. What do you think? Um, I think Dimitri kind of uh, levels up pretty naturally. Yeah, like we yeah. see him pretty yeah. He's, regularly yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I would say between Senna and Benjamin. 
Well, I mean, Benjamin is your favorite. I think. I think you're gonna have to go with Benjamin. I think we got, and he just oh, sold us that really nice new. Yeah, the carpet, carpet, new carpet, everything. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So, got a couple more questions for you. Sure. So, uh, uh, from uh, uh, on Twitter, uh, Blue Rose Taker, uh, why did you make it so that you couldn't participate in festivals if you didn't have high enough friendship with anyone? Yeah, um, that's yeah. So that's something we're working on is our friendship, our relationship with Bryn, mm-hmm. so that mm-hmm. we can maybe attend one of the attend later the festivals, spring yeah. festivals yeah. with her. Um, I guess uh, in any game, if you don't do things right or if you fail, like there has to be some kind of like failure option, even if it's not like a game over or you know, like the stakes in Sugar Blossom Village are not high at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess there has to be an alternative to just like winning and, and being successful all the time. So um, honestly, I, that's something I might change or might have changed if I were to go back to it now mm-hmm. because you know it's not it's not fun getting to a festival day and not being able to find a partner. Um, and, and Sugar Blossom is a place I've mentioned before where I want you to just feel happy and, and pleasant all the time in, in a way. Um, so yeah, I guess it, it came from wanting you to, I guess like wanting to, in, in not the best way to put it, but like punish players that don't take the time to go out and meet people and, and uh, interact with people. That's a learning opportunity, because if you, if you don't get to participate in the festival, you want to do that. And yeah. then it's kind of like, that's more incentive to pick up on the social aspect if you're, you know, maybe working on the farming yeah. aspects more. That's it's certainly a nice way to put it. <laughs> But um, yeah, I think I think again, if, if I were to uh, change something now, I would probably, you know, at least give you a chance to participate in those festivals, even if you didn't get to ask your your preferred romance mm-hmm. option mm-hmm. to it. Um, yeah, uh, I'd say before we pop in and see how much it's gonna set us back, uh, we will end this episode there and look at one more. <laughs> One more piece of fan art. <laughs> I leave it up to you to create our special fan art jingle from now on. Oh man, I got so many ideas. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, I just. So what this one here, here is a little bit different. Um, Ooh. This is from somebody on Steam. Uh, Sarithiel, I believe, is their username. And they said they thought it would be fun to make a profile. For their character, mm-hmm. like the ones the NPCs yeah. have in the game, so it's like straight out of the the village primer, and they wrote their own bio and you know put in what their own personal favorite items would be, um, and made a little portrait for them. So this represents how they played through the game, and, yeah. and Rita was just like in their you know in their playthrough one more villager in Sugar Blossom Village. I why love it. why like, shouldn't she have a an entry in the yeah. village primer. I love it. It's so it's like the the sprite and like uh, chewy chocolate cookies. Yeah. Really, oh, man. <laughs> it's so it's, it's creative. I don't know. I put yeah. a smile on my face to see. This. I like, like it. Somebody... Man, I I, I kind of want to do that too. Like like you know design my own. Like, yeah. That, that that is awesome. That'd I love be, it. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it makes her feel like more of just part of the part community, of the community, which is such a yeah such an integral part of Worldstone. Um, so thank you for doing that. Thank you for sharing it with us. And, um, yeah, that's it for this episode. See you guys next time time. on the World's Dawn Developer Let's Play. Bye!